All right, all right, guys, before we get started, I made a whole bunch of videos at once, and I wrongly thanked someone for loaning me this knife in the video you're about to see. This was actually sent to me by Stephen Healy. I appreciate him for sending this along, the Mazarin Pitbull. And now let's go ahead and get to the video. And you guys can laugh at me crediting the wrong person for the knife. Thanks again, Steve. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about some Italian M390. And the ones I did for this video, the Lion Steel Dom. This is the one that belongs to Jack Farm Boy. That was tested many times between Kurt and when Kurt took it to Peter's Heat Treat. We're going to be testing that one. My Steel Wheel Modus. This is an older one. You notice by the serial number 0048. This is older than the one that Pete tested on rope that he had a whole bunch of issues with and sent back to Steelwell. So we'll talk about this one in a minute also after we watch the cutting. And this loaner Mazarin Pitbull sent to me by Steve Grainer. I appreciate Steve sending this along so I could go ahead and test it and get it in the database. So let's go ahead and watch the cutting and we'll come back and talk about how these three different samples of Italian M390 did.
Alright guys, now that we saw the cutting for all three of these, I'm going to go ahead and start with the modus here. This is my knife, it was brand new before I tested it. I did sharpen it three times, just like all the others, and on the fourth edge I started testing. And the first test I got 111 feet fine edge and 148 feet working edge. Not great. So I went ahead and sharpened it again, ran a second test, and on that test I got 111 feet fine edge and 155 feet working edge. At that point, just to be sure it wasn't something I was doing wrong, I went ahead and ran the test a third time. The third test on this was 110 feet fine edge and 156 feet working edge. So, not great. Like all the others, after I tested it, I sent it to Kurt. He did do a PMI scan. You can see where he did Rockwell test it. It is indeed M390. It just happens to be rather soft. It came back at 57.8 HRC and this is about average production, large scale production, uh, S35VN performance out of this one. Next we'll go ahead and talk about the Lion Steel Dom. This is the particular one that not only did Kurt test it, it's one that he took to Peter's to have verified there. This came up with, it was like an eight point spread between what Kurt got. And when he took it down to Peter's, I believe Peter's tested it three or four more times, and even at Peter's, he got about a three-point spread between the lowest and the highest reading. The highest reading was just over 59. So I ended up testing this one three times. I didn't start testing till edge number five 
for the first test I got 28 feet fine edge and 36 feet working edge yeah for the second test I got 27 feet fine edge 36 feet working edge and for the third test just to make sure 28 feet fine edge and 40 feet working edge this was sharpened just like all the others nothing done differently on it dropped the same as all the others had more than enough edges put on it like I've talked about before I believe Lion Steel is ruining these during the final grinding process some do still low for m390 but this is the second one so far now that has just done poor and that leaves us with the mazarin pitbull M390 Italy this one has been quite used you could see before I got it went ahead and did it the same 15 degrees per side dropped it the same way and tested it on the first test I got 138 feet fine edge and 183 feet working edge Sharpened it, ran the test again. Got 137 feet fine edge and 181 feet working edge. At this point, that's when this went to Kurt. And he did test it twice. And it came up at 58.6 and 58.8. HRC and this did about what the large majority of other 59 or so HRC M390 has done now let's get back to I did a whole video on this And I'm not talking about Steve's knife or Jack's. I'm talking about this one. Like I said, it did PMI as M390. It just happens to not have a very good heat treat and it is soft. However, the knife is comfortable to use and I enjoy it. The action's good. I got it on sale for about 40% off the normal price. So I'm not upset with it. I just look at it as a knife in S35VN, not a knife that is soft M390. This is one of the cases where I like the knife more than the lack of performance that it gives and for what I use it for and when I carry it 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 does fine for me I don't take it to work very often I do carry it outside of work I don't do remotely close to the same amount of cutting outside work that I do during work but I like this design enough it's really comfortable to use for me so I just don't let it bother me I've had a long time to think about this one because like I said I 
I believe I tested this back in February of this year and sent it to Kurt shortly after that. So don't let the edge retention results skew your view of a particular knife if you like it. I can't stress that enough. Also keep in mind the 111, 155 feet, that's within one inch of the blade. So, like I've talked about before also, you have over three inches of cutting edge here. So, roughly multiply those numbers by three. And you can see that then it's not so bad. Just like I did Maximit and uh, ZDP S110V, I may actually do this particular knife because it is a lower performing M390 to that way you guys can get a better look at how usable or maybe we'll find out it's not so usable in day to day use. So that's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.